It's the week that teams have been preparing for all season. The seniors' last shot to show what they're made of. It's time to leave it all out there. Grab the picks. Get the sacks. And go deep. Let's get loud. And grab your brothers. Because it's win or go home. This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, the playoffs edition. Sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. When you have one shot to win it all. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome into week 10 of Sports Zone Football Friday. It's our first week of the playoffs, and it's hard to believe that we've already made it this far. Now, some teams across mid-Missouri got that first round by this week, but others took to the field tonight looking to do everything they can to keep their seasons alive. Up first, we have a crosstown matchup in Columbia as Rockbridge hosts Hickman. Little bonus of these two this year, part two of the Mayor's Cup. First possession goes to the Bruins. Sam Kaiser pitches it out to Drevin Seaman. Instead of running, he's going to show off the arm, gets it to Steven Gibson, and the Bruins are going to be down in the red zone. Same possession, Kaiser gets it over the middle and finds Jack Bauer for the score. Just minutes into this game, the Bruins are already on top, seven to nothing. Let's see if they can keep it up. Coach Alvis is offense struggling to make anything happen, so Rockbridge gets the rock again. Kaiser dropping back, scrambling, but hit by a brick wall. Huge stop for Hickman on third down, and Rockbridge is going to bring out the field goal unit. Joey Scardina for the kick, it's straight on but it's short. It's going to make it 7-0. Second quarter, Koopy is looking for some action. Lucas Murray drops back, lobs it up deep and right in the hands of Cullen Snow. He's not going down just yet. Nice return, and that's going to set up Rockbridge in pretty nice field position. Kaiser gets it over to the sideline to land and block. Blows his way into the end zone. That's going to make it 14 to nothing. We're still looking for some of those explosive plays, though, from Rockbridge. Here it is. Kaiser looking downfield. Gets it to Mark Hagasek. Let's watch it again. What a play for the Bruins. Now they're close to the end zone. Rockbridge punching it in, and they're going to end up shutting them out 42 to nothing. Atkins Stadium packed tonight for Capital City hosting Battle. Starting things in the second half, Battle up 14 to seven. Ricky Dunn takes the handoff and does Ricky Dunn things. Rumbling in for the touchdown, 21 to seven now Spartans. Now these Cavs aren't just gonna roll over after that one. See how they're gonna answer. Their first play from scrimmage in response, they do just that, respond. Jalen Thomas goes all the way to the house. It's going to make it 21 to 14. Cavs now just down by a touchdown. The Spartans battle back. Dequal Wright gets a big gain. He's going, and he's not coming down just yet. Then a bit later, he's going to get another one. That one for a touchdown, and it's going to take the Spartans back up by two scores. Battle then makes a field goal. They're going to show some defense here. There's that touchdown we were talking about. Let's check out their defense now. Capital City is going to get the ball back. Battle defense down by the goal line. They're going to get the stop. They're going to get the ball back now. Crunch time, the Spartans make another play on defense to put the game away. Big time interception by Cameron Watts. And the Spartans' season is going to stay alive with a 34-14 win. The Helias Crusaders hosted the Liberty Eagles out of Wensfield tonight. First quarter action, we have Maddox Fisher blowing up a play in the backfield. Stopping that play cold in its tracks. Later, Helias is going to go up 3-0. Running back Mason French takes the handoff and takes the Crusaders 
up by nine, easily scoring that one. Extra point after means it's going to be 10 nothing Satyrs. A lot of momentum to start this game for them. Then a play you don't see very often, Helias. A blocked punt. Logan Montoya smacks that ball down, and his teammate, Brett Schlender, picks it up. What a play. That sets up the offense in a pretty good spot. Let's see how they answer. The handoff to Alex Marbury. One yard touchdown, 17 nothing in the Crusaders. Cruise to a 48 to 13 win over Liberty. Scoreboard now, Boonville squeezes one out past Bolton, 28 to 25. Belton takes down Smith Cotton, 47 to 20. Fayette gets things done against Russellville, 46 to eight. And France, St. Francis Borgia shows some grit getting past California, 28 to 21. Some great matchups so far, but we have many more to get to tonight, including live crews coming to us from Tolton High School. That's coming up after the break. Excellence and integrity, that's the reputation Max Homeworks has established over central Missouri for the past 10 years. Whether you're ready to plan your bathroom, kitchen, basement finish, or a whole house remodel, Max Homeworks is your trusted source to get the job done right. Call us today. Small business owners have a passion for their craft and a desire to showcase those strengths to customers. It helps to have a partner behind the scenes who can seamlessly power the technology that keeps your business moving forward. MediaCom Business delivers turnkey IT solutions. What does that mean? Your gigabit internet, Wi-Fi, and data security are managed and monitored for you around the clock, securely and efficiently, so you can do what you do best, run your business. One of the biggest projects was the bridge that we're building for Jefferson City and knowing that that's what's going to go into our hometown. It comes in as nothing and then when it leaves it's a complete built bridge and we put it on the truck and then we get to watch it leave. Before it ever leaves the shop you know what it's going to look like out in the field. So that was really cool to be there from start to finish and see our results at the end. I mean it's a good place to work, fun, I mean, built a lot of cool stuff. You're wasting time by not applying. DeLong's is a great place for anybody to work. Small businessman John Martin is a local leader who always gives back to our community. John Martin knows failed leadership has brought us violent crime and the worst inflation in 40 years. We have to support our police to protect our communities. Fight inflation costing Missourians thousands of dollars and invest in our schools, technical centers and universities to grow better paying jobs. Vote John Martin for state representative for a safer and stronger mid-Missouri. Are you looking for an exciting career? If so, then we're looking for you. Hitachi Energy is hiring full-time hourly team members at our Jeff City location with an average starting rate of $21 to $25 per hour. Full-time hires are eligible for benefits starting day one. An exciting career is waiting for you, so don't wait. Apply online today at hitachienergy.com slash career. I believe that all of our guests have one thing in common. When you hear people pull themselves up through things that are unimaginable, we are inspired by their story. People gravitate toward hope, and I believe many of our guests bring exactly that. We are in that golden hour where people feel the warmth of the conversation. Weekdays at 11 on ABC 17. Before the first rain drop falls, ABC 17 storm track weather alerts you to severe weather threats. So we're looking at maybe a couple more storms popping up, primarily south of I-70. Using future track to keep you ahead of the storm. Throughout the afternoon, this is still where we can see that severe threat. Pinpointing the exact time and place it will arrive. Waynesville by 606. We're looking at about 1 p.m. for Audrain County. Always tracking, always alerting. Giving you advance warning to keep your family safe. We are ABC 17 storm track weather. Excellence and integrity, that's the reputation Max Homeworks has established over central Missouri for the past 10 years. Whether you're ready to plan your bathroom, kitchen, basement finish, or a whole house remodel, Max Homeworks is your trusted source to get the job done right. Call us today. We are the Tolton Cheerleaders. You're watching ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday. <laughs> 
Welcome back to our playoff version of Sports Zone Football Friday. Up next, we're going to look at a matchup at Tolton High School as the Trailblazers are hosting the North Callaway Thunderbirds. ABC 17's chief photographer Chris Bryant got to see all of that action firsthand tonight. Chris, lay it down for us. What happened out there? Yeah, fourth seed Tolton hosting fifth seed North Callaway. Tolton hadn't won a playoff game since 2018. North Callaway hadn't won one since 2020. In fact, 2016 was the last time these two teams met in the playoffs. And when it comes to the playoffs, we all know you throw the record books out the window. Firing up the grill. We're ready to rock and roll here. Tolton, 7-2 on the season. North Callaway comes in at 6-3. The winner will get Blair Oaks. Jake Ryan looking to throw to the near side. Tucks it, rolls out to the far side of the field. Decides to keep it for himself. 10 yards out, busting his way through to the goal line. Touchdown, Tolton. They take an early 6 to nothing lead. Coach is liking that. He's a stop now by his defense. North Callaway's Braden O'Neill has other plans. Rolls out to the far side, keeps it for himself. It is a touchdown run by North Callaway's O'Neill. Tack on the two-point conversion. North Callaway leads 8-6. to six. Ian Meyer now. Keeping it, running up the gut, 20 yards out, touchdown, Tolton. We have got a ball game, 14 to 8, Tolton leads early in the first quarter. North Callaway rolls out the far side, O'Neal, pass complete to Kyle Pinnell, two-point conversion, good, tied up at 22 apiece. Jake Ryan, who else? Sam Ryan in the corner of the end zone, makes the catch. And Tolton goes up 28-22 at the half. Tucker Wright with a touchdown run in the second half, putting North Callaway up 30-28. Braden O'Neill would add one more score, and North Callaway takes this one 38-28. Head coach Kevin O'Neill proud of his seniors and everything they've overcome. Um, you know, we've faced some adversity throughout the year, and, and we've learned how to respond to it. And I'm just very proud of that senior group. North Callaway held Tolton scoreless in the second half. North Callaway will now travel to Blair Oaks to take on the top seed next week. Reporting in at Tolton, Chris Bryant, ABC 17 Sports. All right, Chris, great work. Congrats to North Callaway. Now let's look at the scoreboard. Cole Camp dominates Harrisburg 55 to 28 in a close one. South Callaway gets past Tipton 22 to 20. Clark County gets it done over Montgomery County 33 to 12. Fairgrove takes down Versailles 48 to 14. And Macon gets a big win 35 to 8. Now we aren't done yet. We have a big matchup down in Ashland as the Eagles under coach Matt Mark Ross looks to get the first playoff win of his era as they enter the first round against Eldon. Both teams looking to keep their seasons alive. First quarter, Eldon's Hunter Hess sends the pass over to Dakota Collins. It's going to be a nice pickup in the first quarter. That Southern Boone defense comes up with the stop. Eagles are going to get a turn with the Rock. Handoff to Brady Dapkus. He powers his way through over to the sidelines. That's going to be a first down Eagles. They can't end up finishing this drive, but Eldon's going to be looking for the answer. Hunter Hess back with it. Another pass. This one to Dakota Collins for the deep catch. First down, but this one going back and forth. Eldon is stopped, and the Eagles get it back. Nate Melvitz scrambling, looking downfield, launches it deep, and finds Chase Morris for the deep catch all the way in the back of the end zone. Morris pulls it in and the Eagles keep it rolling, advancing to the next round with a 38 to six win. Up in Hallsville tonight, the Indians are hosting the Palmyra Panthers. First quarter, Indians with it. The handoff goes to Harrison Fowler. He powers his way through the middle, breaking a ton of tackles. All the way down the sideline, he's going for the score. Hot start in this one for the Indians. Palmyra fighting for their season. Let's see what they can do. Handoff. But the ball pops loose on the tackle by Landon Seavers. It's scooped up and run all the way back into the end zone for Hallsville. The Indians hype after that one, and they're not stopping there. That momentum keeps rolling on for Hallsville as they win it 38 to nothing. 
Scoreboard now in a close one. Brookfield takes down Marceline 30 to 29. Monroe City stomps Paris 62 to 6. Lincoln goes big 48 to 40. Highland gets the win over Mark Twain 32 to 16. Herman dominates Cuba 68 to nothing. St. James gets it done against Princi Principia 20 to 14. Louisiana squeezes out a close one against Crystal City 28 to 24. Pembroke Hill takes down Knob Noster 48 to nothing. What a way to start the playoffs. So many teams punching their tickets to the next round. But we have more football coming up tomorrow. We'll tell you about it after the break.